What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I want to answer the question of whether winning products and whether they actually exist or not. I get emails all the time, I get DMs on Instagram all the time. Um, it's probably the number one question, in fact, people ask me is, can you recommend some winning products? Um, what are some winning products for Q4? If you go onto YouTube and search for Shopify dropshipping products, um, you'll see it as like a buzzword that people use in their titles. Me, myself included, by the way, um, you'll see Q4 winning products, this month's winning products, September's winning products, products so I guess in this video I just want to kind of clear it up exactly what winning products are do they actually exist um, because I feel like sometimes people have kind of false expectations about certain products because of um, the way they're described and I guess ultimately I want to just make everything crystal clear to you guys so next time you pick your winning products per se um, then you know exactly what to expect so like I said you have some realistic expectations and you don't get disheartened if it doesn't quite sell or take off um, in the way you hoped it for and with that being said then thanks for tuning in hope you guys enjoy this one um, if you do please do make sure you leave a like um, if you want to see more of my content please do make sure you subscribe and as always any comments questions video suggestions just post them down below um, I will see them I do read every single one so I will get back to you if there's a question you want to ask me um, I do plan on uploading a lot more content um, on the back end of this month too so whatever your physio physio video suggestions are just post them down below um, and I can get those recorded for you so to kick this video off then, I guess I want to start off by answering the question then, do winning products actually exist? And I guess it's a bit of yes and no really. So first of all, there's no such thing as a guaranteed winning product. There's no product in the world, um, in my opinion, thinking about it now, um, that's gonna guarantee it or make you some money. You may have heard me mention it in past videos before. Um, when it comes to a successful e-commerce business, dropshipping business, Shopify business, then there's three core elements in which you have to do correctly in order to be successful. Now, one of those elements is a winning product, but then the other two, think of it as like a triangle um, and you'll have like your Shopify store at the top, you have your winning product and then you have your marketing campaign. And unless you do all three of those correctly, then ultimately you're going to fail. So for example, then if you pick a winning product, um, a really good product, it's really high quality, it's cheap, you can ship it fast. It doesn't matter how good that product is. If you've got a really poor, an amateurish looking Shopify store. Nobody's gonna trust your store to spend money with you. They're not gonna believe the product is what you say it is, and therefore they're not gonna buy from you and ultimately you're going to fail. On the other hand, if you have a really professional Shopify store and you have a winning product, if you don't target the right audience and get your product out there in front of the right kind of people, um, then again, your business is going to fail because you're not gonna get the customers onto your store that actually want to buy your product. So think of it as like that three-point triangle, the three core elements I like to call them, and for your business to be successful, then you have to do all three of them well um, and they kind of integrate with each other. If you do just one of those things poorly, then the whole system breaks down and your business is going to fail. So this kind of leads me um, nicely onto my next point, which is a common topic that you'll see people like myself do um, videos on, on YouTube is when people are getting lots of traffic but not making any sales. And this can be where kind of like the winning products and those three core elements come in. So if you've done your product research correctly, you've found a winning product, um, you've validated that product by, you've by the fact that you've seen it selling well on Facebook or other platforms or other Shopify stores and you're getting lots of traffic to your store to that particular product page but it's still not selling then if you're 100% sure that product is a good one then the problem lies elsewhere the problem isn't with your products the problem is probably on your Shopify store like I said if you have a poor amateur Shopify store no reviews no trust badges um, not no legal pages no contact information telephone um, a physical address a contact form an email address a custom domain email address etc um, then again all those things kind of build up add up um, following across social media and um, all of those things kind of add up to what a trustworthy business looks like essentially so that's probably where the problem lies going back to the topic of the video then um, to kind of summarize there's no such thing as a guaranteed winning product the keyword being guaranteed nothing is ever guaranteed in business or at least in the past where I've been running Shopify stores now for four and a half years um, nothing has ever been guaranteed even if you have a really good product if it's not selling well then you have to look at other things I'm going to bring out a video in the next few days um, to do with product validation and the, basically the way the video is structured or what it will teach you then is that when you're doing product research there's certain kind of tools and tricks that you can use to kind of validate how successful how much of a winning product how much of a product how winning a product is or how 
the potential of a product basically whether it will actually sell or not so if you can validate your products and it's still not selling the problem lies elsewhere like i said on your shopify store or probably your marketing campaign just kind of name a couple of things where i see people tripping up again this isn't the topic of the video but when it comes to facebook ads people go for two broader audiences they use really poor quality content for their ads it will just be an image a static image with chinese branding on um, it will just be random videos kind of chopped up that don't really demonstrate what the product is i guess what i'm trying to say or i guess kind of like a key takeaway from this video is just take your time it's good to be eager in a rush and want to get things going really quickly but don't let that sacrifice the quality um, of what you're doing the quality of your shopify store the quality of the products the quality of the content you put on your socials the quality of the ad you create and the quality of your audience as well again that's another big one that i see people going wrong is they'll target these huge audiences from the get-go of 5 10 15 million people um, and realistically an audience of that size is not going to be very high quality um, so you're just going to end up burning through tons and tons of facebook ad spend and not really seeing many results so in the beginning take your time and it's definitely a case of quality over quantity with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up there um, i know it's shorter than usual but there's no need to make this video 10 or 20 minutes long um, the idea is just to kind of make it crystal clear exactly what a winning product is um, so there is no such thing then just to kind of give you a quick recap of the video there is no such thing as a guaranteed winning product you can only find products that have that product validation there is a video coming out soon on product validation which is basically the evidence and sales history behind the products that prove it to be in demand and actually selling and essentially a winning product if you are trying to sell a winning product and it's not quite you're not quite seeing the results you hoped for then look at other kind of parts of your business number one being your shopify store does it have all those things i mentioned earlier on in the video um, and then number two is your marketing campaign and again is it really high quality are you going for a good audience is it original content um, and so forth and with that being said guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please do make sure you leave a like on this video if you want to see that video on product validation coming very soon make sure you subscribe as well um, any comments questions video suggestions just leave them down below i do read every single comment so i will see yours um, and finally then if you are looking for a step-by-step -step, um, e-commerce program for shopify um, i do run what's called the e-com academy um, there's over 100 videos in it now um, it comes with my full support and guidance as well so if that is something of interest, you can find out more information um, by checking out the links in the video description below. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.